Thanks for staying with us on the program here as we continue our trek around campus to the favorite eating spots of Marquette students. The doghouse will be one of those as it sits behind me as one of the favorite late night spots on campus. Now as we went on the road this week to Cincinnati and New York, we recapped the big games for the Golden Eagles as they won both in overtime. If you have not had a chance to check out that Cincinnati recap, please do so on MUTVSports.com to get the great interview I had with Joe Fulce, Lazar Hayward, and Buzz Williams about Joe's emergence. Buzz made a good quote about him being outscored 45-13 to 13 in bench points, and all 13 of those points came from Joe Fulce. Chris Galke has more on the emergence of a dunk star becoming a great bench player for Buzz Williams. Joe Fulce has come a long way this season since fans got their first preview at Madness. And after the Cincinnati game, Lazar Hayward has seen it too. Oof, we needed all of those. He's, uh, he's been, Joe's getting better. And uh, sometimes he, he just can't get in, you know, to show it because Buzz doesn't want to mess up, you know, a rhythm that we're having if we're playing well, you know, in certain situations. You know, it's just kind of hard for some guys to play. But you can, you know, it came, he, he showed it out today. You know, he showed it on the floor. And that's what he's been doing. He's been working really hard, him and Eric and Junior. And, you know, they just don't get to showcase it sometimes. In the Big East, Fulce hasn't been able to get dunks, but he has improved his outside shooting to become an asset to the team. I was, I was just wide open, so I was just like, hey, then I would come out here and guard it, I'm going to shoot it. So, shot it. <laughs> the shots that I took were, were great shots at that time. You know, and just like everyone else that shot, those were great shots at the time, and that's how we ended up with the win. Joe Fultz tied his career high with 13 points for the third time this season, but never on such a stage as Saturday. For us, uh, every, every game, every single possession is always a pivotal and critical, you know, point. This is a point in the season where, you know, it's, it's just crunch time, so everybody has to keep contributing. After the Cincinnati game, Game, Buzz Williams said Fulce was key to the team's success by allowing Lazar to get some rest, and continued contributions from Fulce will only help the Golden Eagles as they close the Big East season. Chris Galke, MUTV Sports. On Marquette's current 12-man roster, the majority of players can point to abundant success with their respective high school teams. Many of them were named All-State, most won some sort of championship, but according to Marquette's media guide, only one Golden Eagle was All-Conference in three high school sports. Big Rob. That's right, Big Rob Frozina. But even with a boatload of athleticism and a 24 point per game scoring average at St. Mary Central, Frozina has a very unique role with this Golden Eagle team. In my case, a lot of times I'm on the scout team, so we're trying to imitate, you know, for example, St. John, Seton Hall, whoever we're going to end up playing. I have to imitate whoever I'm representing to the best of my ability. you got to know the scouting report. That's basically all it comes down to is knowing the scouting report because you can help the guys any way possible. Rob does a little bit more than study the playbook and the opponents. He is a bit notorious for his energy on the bench. He yells and will yell and is excited. He has the most emotion on the bench. I have a high self-esteem that I'm not afraid to embarrass myself, maybe. I don't know. I'm just joking. Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't even realize half the stuff I do. I just, I get so, I get so into the game that I, I don't even think about it. You watch the games, he's always at the end of the bench screaming. Pulling hair. I was definitely down there when we were on defense listening to Rob just say stay on the white line and, 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 and high hands, box out, get the rebound. Heard all the cussing too and it's just, Rob's a, Rob's a great teammate to be around for everyone. <laughs> Joel Foles is just one of the many Golden Eagles who had high praise for Rob. The student section constantly chants his name. His coach, Buzz Williams, has kept him around for three years because he obviously sees so much in him. Heck, the Wisconsin native even got the approval of one NBA player's grandmother. Last year, like apparently, I always celebrated a lot, like when we made threes and stuff. Wes's, Wes Matthews, his grandma came to all the games, and she said she would watch the games again just to see my reactions. And I never like really think about it. Like I just get so into the game that I'm like going nuts. Frozina's job with the team becomes more and more vital as the season goes on. He's no exception to the ever intensifying efforts of Buzz Williams' team. Chris O'Toole has been rehabbing an injury, and he's been spending time with someone he has a very good friendship with. I have a lot of respect for Rob and like walk-ons who do who do that. Rob knows his role, like, and he does it. I think he's one of the best in, in the country at doing that. Just always cheering anything he can. I just love Rob, man. He's my guy. We're always talking and helping one another out. So we're really, it's really like 12 guys on the court instead yeah. of just you know five. Rob and his teammates hit the road again to face the Seton Hall Pirates Sunday. Then they'll return home for the most crucial of matchups. Louisville and Marquette are vying for those high seeds in the Big East Tournament, and Tuesday's game could be MU's last shot at a double bye in the Big East Tournament. Speaking of that Big East Tournament, MUTV will be out in the Big Apple in just two weeks covering the entire Golden Eagles run out in New York. Last year we brought you big interviews with Buzz Williams, post-game recaps, and an ESPN analyst Jay Billis interview after the tournament. 
This year we'll be bringing you plenty more of that only on MUTVSports.com. That'll do it for this week's show. Thanks for tuning in to all the campus eateries. We're going to leave you with real chili, a Marquette legend. Brad Galley here signing off.